Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 11th of December. A couple of weeks away from old St. Nick's arrival, and uh, the weather is cold. Feels like uh, Christmas all of a sudden. Let's get in there and check some of the Skycam shots around the network this morning. These were captured early this morning at about 5 a.m. Who would be awake at that hour? That's our Chiha Skycam. That's the lodge at uh, Chiha State Park where they're sitting at 32, right at freezing up on the big mountain. They are in the clouds, we note. Work our way south. There's a look at downtown Clanton. And the Alabama Gulf Coast looking good from our sky cam on the Phoenix All Suites. Not too many folks at the beach at 5 o'clock on a December morning. Big old trough axis, a long wave trough as well to the west of the state. That means we have a southwest flow aloft, so the cold air is shallow. And uh, that probably means some clouds around. Uh, uh, we'll say a mix of sun and clouds, but those clouds will probably thicken this afternoon and tonight as the trough advances onto the east. And around the state, it's mostly cloudy this morning, and that's kept us mostly in the mid-30s. The cold spot, Haleyville at 30, uh, Coleman 34, Birmingham 37. Those were captured at the 5 o'clock. And again, a uh, very good chance we don't get out of the 40s today. If that's right, this will be our coldest day since February 12th of this year. And around the nation, it's hard to find any warm air now. You have to go down into South Florida. Other than that, cold continental air. Look at those minus 25s up in Canada. And, of course, with a cold, stable air mass, you'll have no severe weather problems. In fact, much of the nation is quiet. This is the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Saturday evening. And uh, this is painting about a tenth of an inch in here. And, of course, we, we are going to mention some chance of rain over the weekend, but it could be maybe Saturday night or Sunday morning before those showers get in here. And I don't think it'll be a big rain event, as you'll see. Let's walk you through day by day. We'll carry this all the way through the day after Christmas. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at noon today at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet. Again, the trough axis to the west and the upper levels. There's the southwest flow aloft and down below that cold air at the surface. So uh, and we'll say a mixture of clouds and sunshine today and very chilly with a high only in the upper 40s. Tomorrow, the trough axis uh, swings on through here, and that will support some rain for the southeastern corner of the state and the Florida Panhandle. Tomorrow, rain is likely in places like uh, Pensacola, Destin, Fort Walton, Dothan, Alabama, Geneva, Ozark. But up this way, probably morning clouds giving way to a uh, partly sunny afternoon. The high should be in the mid-50s, and we'll start the day near freezing. Thursday... Again, pretty cold early in the day. We'll be down in the low and mid-30s. We'll warm up into the upper 50s. And Friday, pretty good chance we see 60 with a sunny sky. All right, weekend fans. You can see the energy out there across the heartland. Underneath that, a surface low develops north of Kansas City, about 1,000 millibars. With a trailing front and a band of showers down to places like Memphis and Houston, this is Saturday night at midnight. The, the showers are just moving in here. So as you can see, there's a reasonable chance a pretty good chunk of the day Saturday will be dry. Maybe a shower late for northwest Alabama. The better chance will be Saturday night. And then this is Sunday at noon, and the front really takes its time. Drier air creeps into northwest Alabama. Uh, showers is uh, still possible from about Interstate 59 south. So this is suggesting perhaps the better chance of showers would be Saturday night into Sunday morning. And again, rain not all that heavy, a quarter inch or less. And Monday, the front stalls out over South Alabama. The front will be stalling out near or just below U.S. 80. And for us, Monday would be a cool and dry day as a, a shallow layer of colder air drops in here. The high would be in the lower 50s if this is right. And Ooh, look what happens on Tuesday of next week, December 18th. Deep upper low forms right on top of us, and a deep surface low is underneath that near Mentone, Alabama. And, uh, yeah, we see those low thickness values. Keep in mind, though, that's mainly colder air aloft. That's not really colder air at the surface. You know, we've seen some runs. The OZ run really painted the... Interesting picture for snow lovers here. 
And of course, this would be an interesting picture for snow lovers, maybe in, you know, Huntsville or Nashville. And understand if we are directly underneath the cold core, sure, there could be some snowflakes, even if it's like 40 degrees at the surface. Uh, but uh, this would suggest maybe some, uh, you know, cold rain at times for us and maybe a few snowflakes directly under the cold core. But hey, Cold core, upper, low, weatherman's woe. We have hard time with that thing a day in advance, much less seven days in advance. But just be aware, some interesting uh, mischief possibilities out there in about a week. And then the uh, following day, this is uh, Wednesday, December 19th. Very deep surface low is just offshore, and we are cool and dry. Notice, not excessively cold, but that will be a cool day. The high maybe in the low 50s, something like that. Hey, Christmas fans, let's take a look at December 25th. This is 348 hours out there, which means it is purely in the land of voodoo, which means uh, there's no skill in a specific forecast. We're looking for trends, and the trends is the trend is cold. That's a cold look. Uh, vortex up there north of the Great Lakes, and uh, if this is right, it would be a cold, dry Christmas day. Uh, the high of about 50 and the low probably at or below freezing. It's below average. We should be in the mid to upper 50s on Christmas Day here, and it would be dry. And the following day gets even colder. Big old 1035 high around Fayetteville, Arkansas, and that's really cold. Uh, we won't get out of the 30s if this is right. Uh, the, this is the anomaly chart, uh, temperature anomalies on uh, uh, the 26th of December. And hey, those purple shades down here, that's like, 20 degrees below average. That's That would put highs in the 30s if this is right. Ouch. And for the fun of it, snow chart, snow depth, December 26th. Eh, eh, white Christmases are generational here. We all know that. But I think cold might be the word this year. But exactly how cold and when, we don't know that yet. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News this evening at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.